super cool, very original. But beyond that, we have a couple of more standard things like Rune Aragus and Sing Azumarill, or Azumarill. So, yeah. May or may not face you later today. Moxie b based? <laughs> Thank you so much for the resub, uh, Professor Germs. But yeah. Uh, let me go full screen. Right, I, it's weird. I always want to go full screen immediately, but I actually have to go full screen after the fact. Uh, this seems to just be a not a standard Sun team. Obviously, like it's Charizard, but it's like hyper offensive Charizard, which is weird to say because I feel like most of them are. Uh, Thunderous lead looks absolutely incredible here. A zoo, a Zoomeral lead actually isn't bad um, because I can absolutely annihilate a Charizard plus. Uh, Plus, 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 plus. Amoongus, that's the word I'm looking for, lead. Um, in the back, I'm going to go and bring Palkia, for sure. And I'm going to bring Runeragus, because I, I just want to do the funny. Listen, listen, guys, we're... Today is going to be a funny day. That's it. Today is going to be a day for the funny and nothing more. I won't I won't say I'm going to play optimally. Today is going to be a funny. You guys got to... Oh, that is not set up right. There we go. Bam. Today's gonna be a funny. Okay, that's like exactly the lead I didn't want, but I don't mind it because I'm actually fairly defensive. What I can do here is go for a sing. I think I like always go for a sing. And I get in Rune Air, I guess. Because they should always target Azumarill. I don't think they have Fake Out. I would argue they're more likely to Fake Out the Thunderous than anything. Why am I going for a Sing? Because I made a bad lead, okay? Because <laughs> I made a bad lead. I was hoping for Thundee, uh, for Thundee to be useful against like a Charizard lead, but I didn't get it. Will-O-Wisp, that's fine. Okay, that's not what I wanted it into, but... I'm surprised they didn't Will-O-Wisp the, uh, the Azumarill. Or the Azumarill. Or the Azumarill, yes, that's the word. Why can't I think of the right Pokemon? Alright, if we land this Sing, we're actually not in a bad spot. Alright, we miss, which kind of sucks, but... Um... <laughs> Guys, hear me out. Hear me out. What are the odds he doesn't just go for a taunt or something onto my Azumarill? Why not do the funny? Or if he will wisps me, that's even better. We lost, by the way. <laughs> we lost. I'm just going to put that out there. We lost. But this is doable. As long as they don't foul play me, which is definitely going to happen. But I, I might as well just go for the funny in case it, it works out, you know. Alright, into the Azumarill. Or Azumarill. I can never remember the name of this Pokemon. Alright, I'm going to get foul played right now and I'm going to lose. And it's going to be the hardest foul play ever. Check it out. Yeah, okay. That, that's game. That's game. I, I did a stupid on lead. I did a stupid. One can say I did a funny, but I think that's more of a stupid. Uh, luckily, I haven't Dynamaxed yet, so it's not completely unwinnable. Um, I'm trying to think of if I need Tailwind to win this game, or if I, if I need, like, Trick Room to win this game, or if I want... Not that. I think I want not that. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> Alright, let's see if they Dynamax. They don't Dynamax. They don't Dynamax, which is actually fairly nice. That's fairly good for me. I wonder if they have Taunt on their Sableye. I'd imagine they'd have to, right? Then again, I've, I've run Sableye without Taunt plenty of times. Will-O-Wisp, that's fine. They're, they keep thinking I'm Physical Thundee. This team does not scream Physical Thundee. I'm like genuinely confused by why they're doing that. Um, I think that might be in range if... Oh, that was a crit. I was going to say, if the Thunderbolt did that much, they ought to be like minus special defense, zero IVs. Uh, let's see if this KOs. Because if this KOs, we have a chance. It does. Okay, we have a chance.
That's a special defense boost. Uh, they had a Groudon in the back, which I can easily take care of. We might win this game just by virtue of Prankster Thunderous being broken. All right, B Charizard. Oh, it's Reggie Lucky. That's not great, but it's not bad either. Um, more likely than not, it's like, you know, a good Reggie Lucky set, which means it's physical, which means this is gonna hurt, but we should be fine if we keep our Thundee, which kind of sucks, because I, I, I really, I have to double it in case it's Sash, but it, I mean, the Sash is probably not on it. Let's be real, the Sash probably isn't on it, but let's just assume. So I'm gonna double regardless. Trick? Oh, hello? Am I gonna get eject buttoned? Lagging tail. Okay, that's fine. I didn't want to go first anyways. Dude, I think I win. If, if there's no Amoongus in the back, I totally just won. What the hell? Alright, so I, I'm assuming that was the Sash. After that lead, if I win this, I'm gonna be real surprised. Like... I, I don't know how I'm going to get away with this. If there's like a Groudon or a Charizard, we, we literally are going to win. More likely, if there's a Charizard than a Groudon, we will win. But if there if there's anything else, we probably lose. Hey, what's up, man? Glad you could make it out. We still got to hang out. It's, it's like way past when we said we were going to. Okay, there's a Groudon. Like I said, not impossible to win, but a little bit rougher. Um... I don't have any move to one-shot you. I can, however, go for a Rain Dance, but I am going to go second, which kind of sucks. And I should just go for the Geyser. Alright, sounds good. Listen, listen. If it's, uh... If, it, if it's AV, I don't one-shot. If it's... I mean, for all we know, I could go for, like, a max rock fall. That actually wouldn't be terrible. Seems that like the battle is going well. I mean, it it wasn't at first. I was trying to do a funny because I led very bad. Like, literally what happened is I led off with, like, the worst possible lead, and I had to fish for a sing. Um, but we just kind of got away with it. I, it. We'll see. I think I can still lose from this position just because max quake will definitely allow this thing to live, and then if my Thundee goes down, I have no way of beating... Or if my Palkia goes down, I have no way of beating the Groudon. Uh, but if, if I can keep my Palkia, I definitely just win. Alright, Max Quake. That's going to be into Palkia. Palkia should take it pretty well, because it's like a decently bulky Pokemon. Um, let me see. Let's see how this goes. I literally just have to prioritize the Groudon, and I'm like, good. Foul play. It shouldn't do too much. I have like no attack investment. I have a Citrus Berry as well, which is super nice. If I crit here, I'll be so happy. Ah, not quite. Okay. Um, this is basically going to come down to if I can take a Max Quake. Which, I think... I think I just barely eat a Max Quake, but then I get KO'd by Foul Play, which is going to be the issue. No, I don't take a Max Quake. Okay, let's just try it. Let's, let's just see if we can get away with this. Let's see if we can somehow get away with this game. Because because Trick Room isn't the play since we got lagging tailed. Um, at plus two, a Hydro Pump is probably my best bet rather than Spatial Rend. Thunderbolt. Kind of wish I had Foul Play Thunder right now. Max, Ro bro, bro. No way. No way we're getting away with this. No way. No way. All right, he crits my Thundee, which I honestly don't think matters, but um, I think that my Hydro Pump should do enough. It's going to be iffy. It's going to be iffy, because I, I just lost my rain, and I still have to land it. But foul Play doesn't do that much to me. Oh, no, I lose. I lose. I, would, I have to, like, crit a Spatial Rend, and they have to not be sad. Or I, I guess it doesn't matter if they're Sash, because it, they tricked. And also they revealed that they were lagging tail, so it comes down to, like, a Spatial Rend crit. Because Foul Play KOs me somehow. I didn't think uh, Foul Play would KO me. I didn't think Foul Play would do that much. 
Let's see. Yep, we get KO'd. But to be honest, that was a lot closer than it should have been, given the lead. So I I, I don't really mind that. <laughs> I don't really mind that. Anything of the follow, Timothy? Yeah, and honestly, I think the only reason it was that close was literally just because, like, they were so adamant on Dynamaxing their Groudon, and they assumed that I was um, physical Thundee. I like Thundee on lead. Thundee on lead is just absolutely incredible. Palkia in the back, or Palkia on lead as well is pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to be fishing for Runarigus today, to be honest. <laughs> so while Zacian looks very, very good and uh, Incineroar could also be quite helpful, let's just fish for Runarigus today. Oh, I still have Showdown up? Oh, my bad. That's not supposed to even be visible on this one. There we go. My bad. I don't know why. I, I couldn't. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. I didn't know you guys could see all of Showdown. Did I show anything that might be compromising to my channel's security? I really hope. I really hope I did not. <laughs> I didn't show anything compromising to channel security, right? No, I don't have anything compromising on this screen. Okay, we're good. It was literally just showdown. Because I know that, like, it's possible to accidentally show your stream key. Other than Gigantic Quest spoilers, no. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> All right, th that stays within the stream. That stays within the stream. No, no, no spoiling Gigantic Quest, okay? All right, so what kind of sucks about this is uh, Clefairy sort of walls out my lead. There isn't particularly a good reason to not go right into Azumarill and just Trick Room here, because the only way I lose any of my Pokemon is if, like, a Helping Handed Thunder crits my Palkia. Because um, there's no way Azumarill goes down here, and there's no way Palkia goes down here. I guess the only way this, like, gets really bad is if it's Sing Azumarill, or if it's Sing Clefairy. But who would run a Sing Pokemon? That's just... that That's like a crime. That's a crime if you run a Sing Pokemon. Let me go full screen. Ow. Oh, he's Life Orb. That's why I did so much. Okay. Don't mind that. Absolutely don't mind that. Um, my room service goes up, which is super nice. I'm going to go ahead and looking at the rest of the team, there is no reason not to. I can just liquidation here. Don't want to liquidation Max Quake. I think so. I think that's safe because I don't want to get anything else in yet. I don't want to double the Clefairy, though. I think I always double the Kyogre, because if the Clefairy follow me, then I'm good. First time I watch Moxie's stream, I get spoilers for a Gigantic Quest. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Are you guys enjoying the series, though? I'm, I've been having a lot of fun making it, and I, I want to know if it's, like, the level of enjoyment people were expecting when I announced it. Clefairy protects. Glad I did not double the Clefairy. This liquidation should do a chunk, though. This should be doing a chunk. Hold on. Okay, well, I mean, all things in life are bound to disappoint at some point. Alright. Uh, luckily, I should live whatever with both of my mons here, which is very poggers. Origin Pulse? That actually KO'd my Azumarill. I'm going to sue. I am going to sue. How did that KO Azumarill from that range? With plus one spec? I'm suing. That's actually, like, lawsuit worthy. Hold on. How do I go about doing this? Alright, um... I can Earthquake. It should KO Kyogre from this range. And there's absolutely no chance um, I KO my own Palkia. I'm not telepathy, granted, but it's 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 better. There we go. After you, no, sir. After me, <laughs> dude. I almost got absolutely annihilated by a Clefairy. Hold on. 
Hold on, that was terrifying. You know when, like, I don't know what, what the equivalent of this would be. This would be like the equivalent if you ran across the street and then you turn around and see a semi-truck flipped over because you had headphones on and you just didn't notice. That's like what just happened to me. Like, I just narrowly avoided death. Okay. Um, both of these mons have, have the potential to be Sash. So I kind of want to Rock Slide. But I don't think it's worth it. I think my play is always going to be to Max Quake. Um, and Earthquake, honestly. Like, double, double Ground Move doesn't seem bad. We also have two turns of Trick Room. So there's really no reason not to do that. Um, and I should always target Calyrex first. Maybe I just... Uh, you know... Let's just keep hitting our Palkia. The damage output from Runarigus is disgustingly low anyways. Let's just keep hitting Palkia. Let's just keep hitting it. Oh, did Cybertron feature this team? I didn't know. I don't watch Pokemon YouTube. I have to admit that. I don't watch VGC content. You reach like a... When you create VGC content, you hit like a critical mass of VGC that you can tolerate. And that's it. That's like literally it. Uh, I'm not going to check out that Poke Pace because I generally don't like looking at teams before I face them because I, for one, I'm a big open team sheet hater and for two, it's kind of cheating on the ladder in my opinion. If you already know it, whatever, um, you know, because knowledge you come in with is fine, but getting it mid game is like, yeah. Yeah, if it was for chat, that's fine. I just want to let you know that if someone sends me like a team paste, I'm not going to look at it mid, mid, mid match usually. Or like ever. I don't think I ever have like looked at like a team pace mid chat if someone recognizes the team. Here. <clears throat> I lead off Thundee Runarigus, and that actually isn't bad. And I'm 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 like I said, I'm fishing for the Azumarill game where I go for a self aqua jet. I'm really fishing for it, but it's whatever. Who you're recording with? That's a surprise. You should have paid attention when I accidentally spoiled it. Garbodor is much easier to use than a lot of other Gigantamax Pokemon, to be honest. No, it's not plus one, because I messed up and I indiscriminately allowed everyone who wanted to be on the series to be on the series. Alright, don't be Hypnosis. Don't be like Gravity Lunala Hypnosis. Joe, thank you so much for the raid. We're going to play suboptimally. Just a fair warning for everyone coming into the stream. We're using Runarigus, so we're already starting from negative three. There's no way they're going for for G-Max Gravitas into Hypnosis. There's no way. No chance. Oh, God. guys, hold on. Leave the stream. I don't want you guys to see this. Don't look. Hold on. Oh, don't look. Don't look at me. Don't, don't look at me. He's going to do it. Okay. If we're about to lose to Dr. Michael Orbius. If we're lucky, they'll actually do it into the Thundee, thinking I'm offensive. If we're lucky, that's what they're going for. Alright, come on. Hypnosis the Thundee. Come on, Stinky. Come on, Stinky. Sorry, I'm just gaming really hard right now. Okay, um, probably can't one-shot, probably can't one-shot. Oh god, it's room service. Okay, uh, I know how we win this. Check this out. I go with Zoomerill here. <laughs> I'm gonna make him really mad. <laughs> Wait, I can make him really mad. Hold on, let me, let me check something real quick. Let me, let me, let me check something. I'm max guarding, right? Yeah. What, what, what's hit, what's, listen, we're using Sing on our, on our Azuril, on our, on our Azumarill. What, what's the accuracy of Sing under, under this condition? Because that, that heavily, heavily determines how I'm going to do this BS. Ninety-eight percent with. Listen, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for Lunala at sacrifice. 
I'm gonna out orb their team. Unless they doubled the Thundy slot, which I don't think they did. We're good. The numbers don't lie. And they spell disaster for you at sacrifice. All right, check this out. Check this out, check this out. Easy peasy. Get rid of that shadow shield. The numbers don't lie, Samoa Joe. <laughs> and they spell disaster for you. Nice defense drop, Stinky. I can't wait to go for another Max Phantasm into a liquidation. Christmas plates? Don't care. I'm literally too fat. Alright, there's Dr. Michael Orbius. There's Dr. Michael Orbius. Um, there's no way it doesn't drop to a Phantasm unless it's like, you know the only set that that wouldn't um they already wasted their gigantamax as well i want to go for a rock fall and hope that that ko's but i'm scared of hip i'm scared of this thing running hypnosis itself however i'll be honest i'm fairly certain that they wouldn't run that on this thing why is scott steiner on stream i'm sorry dude i'm big papa pump sing the dawn i'm not gonna sing the dawn just yet i'm gonna one shot the dawn i'm gonna one shot the dawn Okay, that doesn't KO, but that's fine. As long as I one-shot the Dawn, this will be worth it. It's not like I can miss this this liquidation, you know? Oh, that didn't KO. That's not great. Um, we still have room service Palkia, though, so I'm fine. Yeah, I still have room service Palkia. Oh, they did have Hypnosis. Maybe I should have just gone for the Phantasm. Probably not. Alright, Room Service Palkia comes in here. Thundy comes in. Um, It's actually a little bit scary. I think it might be Banded Groudon. Judging by the damage it was doing. I'm going to say it's Banded Groudon. So let's just target it. Hydro Pump can't miss with the gravity. Yeah, I kind of have to target Groudon, don't I? I'll just try to wake up here. I can't wake up. Can I? My favorite part of the stream is when Orbius said it's Orbin time and orbed Marcos. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. It was Orbin time. I cannot I cannot tell a lie. It was Orbin time. <laughs> All right, we're going to sleep. This isn't unwinnable. Uh, I think they had a Incineroar on in their team, and if they might have brought it, which is honestly super nice for this for this end game. All right, please be Incineroar. That'd be so poggers. That'd be so super duper poggers. Oh, it was ready. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Um, ooh, you're a special attacker. Ooh, you want to use a special attack so bad. Ooh, you want to wake up. Have you realized Renaragus is garbage yet? Eh, not particularly. I think it's, I think it's actually fairly usable. You just can't, like, lean into it too much. And so far, this stream, I've been entirely leading into it because I just really wanted to. Ooh, you want to be a special attacker so bad. Don't be physical. I'll cry. I will. Okay, it is. And it missed. Thank you. I think that's all we needed. I, I think that's all we needed. We still just earth power this thing and then we win. We need to land a singular, singular earth power.
dude, I'm gonna make a... <laughs> guys, 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 guys. I just had a great idea for a team. I'm gonna use a, a Defiant Phalanx plus Groudon team, and I'm gonna call it Minions Rise of Grow. A hey, nice gravity, buddy. All right, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. There we go. The Minions Rise of Grow is about to be the hottest team of the summer. Dude, I'll tell you what, Monday will make Minions Rise of Grow. How about that? Monday is usually my team building day. I'm about to disrespect this guy and land this move. Gotta wear a suit for that episode? Sure, I'll wear I'll wear like a tie. Actually, I have a suit. I, I know we're like really behind on the meme, but I think it's funny. Alright. 